Hey, what the fuck? What up? Hey. <laughs> Two seconds in, and we're removed from YouTube algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that algorithm. All right. we, only, we only want yep. organic. We want organic vibes. <laughs> yeah, well, we welcome want, to. We want to be searched. What is this? For. Episode eight? Episode nine? Episode eight of episode our DD campaign to roll two. Roll. We roll two. We roll cool. That's we can. Wait, we cannot nine? get. Should we yeah, just start episodes over? Right Are we ever. off already? What time? <laughs> we'll figure it out. It's nine, isn't it? I don't know. We'll Pretty figure sure. it out. I um in my notes. Yeah, this should be. Oh, I need to get my notepad. Oh, maybe. No, this might I be eight. eight. I think this is eight. Yeah, I think it's eight. So. I don't think it's eight. I. <laughs> I might be able to help resolve this situation. I mean, I have a slide for each session. Today is not. I uh, post YouTube videos, and the last one was seven. <laughs> Doesn't mean the last one was right. You're right. I'll have to go back and count. Anyways, welcome we gotta, to we gotta make sure we the next all this. episode. Not the Snoop Dogg song. And, uh... Yeah. Uh, you have an announce squeak looker you want to say something? Yep. Uh so next week, a couple of us uh are not gonna be here, so keep your eyes out for a one shot, possibly. Maybe not. I don't know what these guys are gonna do when I'm not here. But uh also I did end up picking up the Genesis Android and I've been reading it. As yeah. some of you know, we've we started out this this channel with the Genesis system, so I thought that might be a good thing to do a one shot of as well. So look, look for that in the future. <laughs> Trending, dude. <laughs> totally <laughs> my, totally, totally that's my issue. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I forget how to use the Genesis system. Trending remembers. Don't worry. I, I, I need roll twenty back for help. I did four years yeah. straight of Star Wars. I'm good. Yeah, that was a. What was your character's name in that, Danny? I was asked this. Cannon. Cannon, yeah. Like, Bell and, uh... Who's Give me the Lord. Dude, we had some, some <laughs> killers. Steve French. Holy shit. <laughs> Steven Good. motherfucking French. Worldbow. Worldbow and I Bell. I didn't even think... Were we even recording back? Well, oh, yeah, we oh, were. Yeah. That's, That's when we started, is because we did some dumb shit, and then we're like, we gotta start recording this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The first the first recording is uh, us after the, the heist. Yeah, the keys. Yeah. Yeah. Dropping we, the keys. Yeah. Dropping the keys. We didn't even use the cameras back then. No. No. Right? Like, it was just all audio. It was just audio. I made, yeah. I made some uh, little Yeah, there was some stuff. editing stuff going on, too. We decided to Did move I... away from that creatively. <laughs> Yes, it's <laughs> easier to, just to do it live. We, we decided and... to go in a different direction. <laughs> just record and export straight to YouTube. <laughs> Look, it's easier, you know. It's easy. It is. <laughs> Our post budget got but, cut a lot. And we did. We honestly, we had to edit when uh, edit audio when Patrick was involved. Let's just be honest. <laughs> well, there was some cuts. Oh. The hard cuts needed to be made. <laughs> well, anyways. Let's. Uh, oh, play. and let's not forget brutal grip tape. Brutal grip hey. tape. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. Shout out to Those brutal. The great diggers. In the great oh, yeah. diggers. I I might miss that campaign. Yeah. We'll have that to do a, with, that, I think that should be our one shot campaign. Just have our wars eighteen without us. <laughs> That's true. I won't be there. Just well, random. I mean, we can we'll do it in driver. the future. We don't necessarily have to do it. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah sure. I'm sure they go on all kinds of missions without you guys, and everybody, <laughs> people are disposed for all kinds of reasons. <laughs> without the pilot? Yeah. Look, maybe yeah, they, well, <laughs> they got arrested. Mm. And it, the session got autopilot. You, you showing know? up, and there you jumping in, and that's how it ends. You know? Just Remember when you were a robot and you fell like eight stories and broke all your legs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I and then we had to carry that. you around that for like so a funny. while. Like, <laughs> All right. Oh shit. Good I times. We well, forgot about that. But we have uh, something to do tonight. Yes, if you want to check out the Genesis campaign, there are there's a playlist on YouTube. Check it out. All right. So, 
Let's get to it. Okay. Last week, or the last few sessions, after getting word from the Arc Druid about an extremely powerful and valuable gem within a nearby vault, our adventurers went to retrieve it for him in order to keep it out of the hands of the Nightmats, Thieves Guild that has been a nuisance for the city of Mylari. After narrowly escaping the clutches of a news, a glorious win over a gargoyle and hastily escaping the breath of a star dragon, they left the vault. Seeing the awakened lion protecting the vault from shadowy figures, that were unable to make out in the rain, the group saw that he was in danger and chose to help. Getting closer and... S I got a burp again. <laughs> nice. Getting closer, the group saw the were-raven assassin that had killed their only inn into the night mask and Tebrin standing behind, wearing an umbrella and dressed to the nine. The drow, wielding a fiery bracer that had been looking for the other half. Tebrin called in a group of wolves to help the raven Plus, as he left in a hurry. One vicious fight later, the group captured the raven, had to say their goodbyes, and sent out their new friend, Warden, with a lion that they saved, and definitely not a ripoff of C-3PO, Atlas. The rain continues on, but the front has passed. Not just a, it is now just a steady drizzle as small amounts of light start illuminating the clouds. Not far from where you are, hinting at the rain coming to a stop soon. But as you all stand outside of the vault, what would you like to do? E. coli's up, right? Everyone is up. up. We've got we've got the Raven on E. coli's back, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So you're right. We, you're right. We have we have an interrogation to do, and then we saw the hologram on the sarcophagus, uh, which I can read. The Kirby sent me the write up. I can. So it depicts the story of a bard attempting to warn others, uh, begging and pleading, and it doesn't really go well. Uh, then he dances under the two moons while they cross as, like, chaos and everything goes to shit. And two masked individuals, male and female, interrupt him, trying to pull him to opposite sides of the stage. As a half-spider figure descends down and steals him away. Uh, so then he's taken prisoner by the spider and then turns into a sparrow and flies away, hovering over the world as he watches it descend into chaos. And we just killed the raven. He's unconscious. We killed him. He's been... no. We not. We don't do that here. Oh, I forgot. I forgot what campaign this was. Yeah. Different he's campaign. Probably, <laughs> he's he's probably gonna be fine. Throw him into the gods. <laughs> he's probably fine. He's probably the other campaign. Probably, yeah. The other campaign. He's like dismembered in like an hour. You're yeah. searching his body for <laughs> clues by like <laughs> inside. I remember You're when searching go chest was cavities. It's... Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm I think glad... we need to take our prisoner. Somewhere, somewhere. Probably, probably not well, back we're to like the town. Five hours from town, right? We're like. A kind we of need to not go still. back there. I don't that... trust the arch druid. Well, I need problems. to go to my audition, so I'm gonna start heading that way towards the tall glass. That's oh right. yeah. Uh huh. And if you guys, I think we were gonna say you guys wanted to go and split and do your stuff, and maybe yes, a couple of you wanted to come to with the, me. The monks, yeah. the silent monks in the monastery. So ask, ask about the Ostruid. Okay. Yeah, we were gonna split here. I think. I think I was gonna go with Surge. I think I potentially we I should think you do were, the yeah. interrogation before we split, so everyone has the same information. I don't know if I have time. Uh, I I look up at the we sun. We can do it what on the way. We, I mean, we have a few hours of travel. Uh, I you might know, be yet late you're as it is. Late. You're going to yeah. be late. Um, it's just how late you're gonna be now. Hmm. But this, the glow is tomorrow. Oh, oh. We don't have much time. I agree with Coben. I look this at the party. Of, uh, the I, utmost here's... importance. I look at the party out of... Uh, nice. Who looks the strongest? In what way? Like, physically? Yeah, like... Potentially Coben. Could, probably, could, could probably carry Coben. another carcass. Oh. Or a, a, a limb oh. body. I could and would are different. <laughs> I, I 
not said anything yet. I'm just I think asking Coben looks the, the strongest, for most likely. Uh, I have a 17 strength. That's oh, high. Kind of jacked. <laughs> Might be the wrong tree to bark up, though. <laughs> so, uh, let's end up with Lionel Tokyo. carrying. Whoever you want. We're going to go back to the town. <laughs> Struggling to carry. <laughs> It'll just be Lionel carry. <laughs> I'm not strong looking. <laughs> I'm just tall. I'm just tall and slender. I'm skinny fat. Well, I think we all need to go to town. It sounds like, right? I love that vibe. Should we start there? Yeah. Start making our way to town. We are making our way down to town. It's a walk yeah. and talk. Yeah. Are, are we are we walking and talking, or are some yeah. people in a hurry? Yeah. No, we're walking. And like talking. what's oh, people okay? Running? All right. <laughs> running. We're running and talking. Why would we be running? <laughs> so what do you guys think? <laughs> no, I, I I don't think we're running. Okay. At least I'm not. I was mainly asking Serge if he was okay. Yeah, you're the only one with the schedule. No, I, I'm I'm already gonna be late. I just trying not to be that late. Yeah. Um, as you guys are heading that way, um, everyone with passive perception over about well, in the rain here, it's gonna be a little harder. Is it dark out? Actually, make it's. I don't. I don't even have a character. Shape. It's not super dark out, but it's dark enough to where your sunlight sensitivity as a drow doesn't trigger. Oh, okay. So it's 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 clouded and there's no sunlight, but it's not. Like it's middle of the day, so and it's like a light light rain, so like an overcast type shit. Yeah. Okay. Um everyone make perception check. Woohoo. I was gonna do passive, but uh, it's rainy and stuff, so there's other stuff. Roll on regular. Here. I rolled a sixteen. Ooh. Thirteen. Twenty four. Twenty four. Nice. Damn. I see out. something. Start seeing uh, something. Uh, uh. Fucking a rabbit came across and you said, I got you. Clocked him. 17. <laughs> All right. I went over 15. You guys see what looks to be signs of a struggle with probably only like really early into your journey, about 20 minutes out in like a staging area. What looks like a little camp has set up, like set up, um, you guys would assume. Um, a staging area to maybe hunt the lion. With your, with, you guys have heard stories of this lion as a target for some of the, the hunters in the taverns and uh, just around town. You guys have talked to, I think, a few different people. Yeah, when I interrogated that and, child. Uh, yes, and you accosted the, the yeah, child. Um, he needed it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys see a staging area for like camp, a couple little like one-person tents and a bedroll and a, a fire that's been put out a while ago, it's not even um, fuming, but the signs of struggle and Tem, you see what looks to be like marks of a cart and horses as things have been dragged away and Bowman and Lionel you guys see the same kind of bedded down and we're, we're here, it's kind of damp mm. but when you guys are coming into town more of those, like, where bodies have been laid for an amount of time. Lionel? Are you guys... Yes, sir. I believe that short fire elemental has been through. Again? Check the notes. What was our first yeah. notes? There was a campsite or something and branches broken, blood on the ground, signs of a struggle. Exactly what it says here, sir. You keep great notes. It seems to fit the motive, sir. Well, it seems nothing can go without our intervention. Shall we investigate, sir? I don't see why we wouldn't. I guess, sir. All right. We. We believe. Yeah, I don't have time for this. We believe um, a struggle has taken place here, and it I may be a repeat a offender. A cart. That drug stuff down the road this way with horses and. Is there any blood? It looks like they. I'd like to yeah. look for any blood. Make an investigation check. I will do. He's exactly that thing. 
One plus nice. one is two. <laughs> you do not see any blood. I don't see any blood. I don't believe there's just there's just time to save whoever's been kidnapped. Perhaps kidnapping. <laughs> Who says they were kidnapped? They might just That's be what happened last time. taking a piss in the bushes. Can I, can I make like an investigation? To Why don't see we try yelling like... to see if we can get anyone's attention? I say hello. Oh, You're good, good investigating search. Anyone uh, here? No response. Did anyone no investigation? Um, where the track headed? What would you like to look for? To, like to see if there's like a signs of struggle to like in a direction. Like if yeah. you're being taken, you're gonna yeah. like. You know, kind of. Yeah, stop make yourself. an investigation check. Okay. And if Pem is that, if that's what you're about to say, you can do it with advantage. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, do yeah, yeah. Natural twenty. There you Woo! go. Roll for the crit though. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <I> roll two. <laughs> Are you I serious? Said two natural twenties. I was about to shit. Look at the look at look at <laughs> look, look at, at it. Look at, look at, the, look at, look at, look at it. the thing. Just look at the thing. Look at it. Oh yeah. Wow. Would you look at it? Where? In the uh, no, D &D uh, beyond. D &D beyond. Jesus Christ, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, roll for the crit. <laughs> roll for the crit. Fucking joking? <laughs> Dude, what are you? <laughs> roll for the crit. You, you got it. D &D oh, beyond. <laughs> okay. Dude, I, w I wish that was with this. Can, can we have all of the information, please? <laughs> Here's what happens. <laughs> Here's how it went down. Here, highlight a that. Very That's worth TikTok. They're in a very, like, Willem Dafoe from, uh, uh, Yes. Uh, the Lighthouse? No, no, no. no. Irish, Irish Boondocks. movie. Boondocks. 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 <laughs> he, Lionel kind of, in a theatrical way with his cane, kind of recreates this event and then is, like, moving things on the ground with his cane of, like, hmm. No, no, no. There That's was not where a he fought. He would have been fight. in this position. Uh, there he, like, was a he has it! <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yes! Of course I do. Alright, that's tune in next week when we're not gonna be here. Bye. <laughs> As he goes through and he almost and, like recreates this this dance and then he's like, there were no 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 there were two and then he's like, no no you see there was two people and then he goes, But then there was a third over here and you you look around and you get the sense of that there were two hunters they fought one person and had lost but there was no bloodshed and then you can sense the struggle that they were dragged to where um, the two like spots almost like uh, in the grass that they're kind of set aside and then as you go over there you Near where their both heads would be in the grass, there's no blood throughout any of this that you detect. But near there, there's spurts around where their heads would be. Would be. And then they were then drugged from there over to where Pem pointed out um, where the cart was and hoisted it away. Headless. No, I think I didn't on say the that. ground, when they got hit, there's blood by where their heads would be. Oh, where their heads would be. Okay, yeah. I see. Okay. I misunderstood, too. I thought I was like, was wait. headless bodies, and yeah. where their heads would be, a small amount of blood? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, there was... The only blood that you had located at all was where they were laid down in the brush um, near where the heads would be, from either some sort of head wound or something like that. So they got clocked. Yeah, seemingly. So they seemingly were clocked. Yeah. So we got the huge Eat. freaking guy theory and the serial crusher theory. Hey, Sherlock Holmes <laughs> this to everybody. The toilet from the rooftop yeah. theory. <laughs> I just might be needing a bagel with my coffee. Yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> what a good movie. I yeah, Sherlock Holmes this. I Sherlock Holmes this to everybody and make them feel dumb. I'm just kidding. Just like Sherlock would. Lionel, well investigated. Yeah. I think you've been I, learning quite diligently. Yeah, and I need to retire. Oh, well, I've had a great teacher, sir. Well, there's no need for compliments now, but... <laughs> I can't believe I missed all of that. I just... 
I go through it one more time for him. <laughs> I, I'm, I must be a really shitty <laughs> hunter. I'm Play it back. <laughs> I'll rewind it back. I'll, I'll, I'll perform again for you. Well, does it, how you old? Did... Do we get a sense of how recently? Um, with the double nat 20? That within easily the day. <laughs> within that the day. day. <laughs> within the day, and the cart then. had left hours ago. Is he able to get the license plate of the car with the double nat 20? <laughs> <laughs> Do I recognize oh. the wheel marks? Yeah, does he get the treads? <laughs> is this like a 98 Buick? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely oh. a '98 Buick. It's a, it's always a '98 Buick. It's a fucking boat. <laughs> this spacecraft oh. drove through. Excuse me, Lionel. Yes, sir. You, please, sir, is my father. You didn't happen to see any uh small pieces of amber or giant lion prints, did you? I don't believe so. You think maybe Warden came through here? It seemed. I, mean, I, it, I, I mostly because... saw. I saw marks of just like humanoid. Yeah. People, right? It's just yeah. No oh, marks right. of like construct or animals or uh, it's, like. It's thing you do just from kind of like kicking around the camp. With your background. You do notice that this is a. A hunting camp. You you would use a setup like. If you're close to it, like. Maybe following an animal or something, you're close to your target, and you're like you just need to rest, and then we're gonna catch it in the morning or something. Yeah. You know? Okay. But they were probably it was very recent, and you also noticed that there are some Wildeco decorations, or like or on the gear and stuff, and there's some antlers about as this would be a Wildeco tribe. Okay. Okay. Because yeah, I failed the hell out of that check. Um, I can't believe you got two nat 20s. I know. I'm posting a picture in the Telegram for the talk. <laughs> yeah. For the TikTok. Um, <clears throat> the tuck tuck. Oh, yeah. Also, follow us on TikTok. Same name. Yep. Promo. That was something. Same name, different game. Also, follow us on Twitch. We're at, we've been at 68 for fucking weeks. Who wants to be the 69th follower? Yeah, it it's, a special, so it's a special. It's a special, special time. It's about damn time we play the sixty ninth. Someone will be sixty ninth. Jesus Christ! <laughs> uh, Put that as TikTok. 69. Just do a blatant. Follow us on Twitch. Who wants to be the sixty ninth? Just like on That's Instagram. Good. Yeah. <laughs> That's no okay. one gets the special luxury of being the sixty ninth. And make oh. sure to ask him to reply in the comments. I was number sixty nine. And then that will be. <laughs> it was me. A god. We'll fucking There'll be a god. Something. I don't even give. No, a there'll shit. be a god in our campaign. Oh yeah, you get to be a oh. god if you're the 69. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Fuck it. That sounds great. <laughs> All right. Um. So this is what you guys see on the way back so as you're heading back. Is, you guys. Is it on the way towards town? Yeah. So you guys are heading west back towards town. Warden and the line and Alice went northeast. So you guys are in a different direction, just to okay. uh, but the, clarify that. Are the ruts in the road, are they heading towards town? Yes. Okay, so following these will also bring us to our destination. Hey, let's do it! I don't see why we wouldn't. Yeah. All right. Yeah, if it's back towards town. All right, let's we, go. we attempt to follow the tracks. Okay. Unless they diverge and, uh, greatly off of the path towards my lorry. Sure. Uh, make a survival check. I will uh, with sure disadvantage because of the rain, um, as you guys are going, it's going to be slowly kind of washing away. But All of us, or can I help one to make or... a normal roll? Uh, you... Yeah. Um, if you're proficient, you can help Spang. I, I know he is. I am not proficient, but... If anyone else is proficient, you can give him... I am not proficient either. I feel not like proficient. I'm proficient in everything because of jack-of-all-trades. How proficient do we want to translate uh, yeah. the terminology? Uh, proficient. Yeah. Excuse me, bitches. I rolled a natural 20. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> what? Yeah, the I fuck? rolled. Where? For a, for nice. a 24. In Unveil fire. the mysteries before us, GM. Amazing. Yeah, sure we did, seek too. knowledge. Okay. I just want to say there's been like three rolls. All of them have been natural 20. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Hey, I, rolled, I rolled Clay, Clay had a one in, for the blood check, though, remember? Yeah, there the no thing. blood the first Oh, that's time. true. And tails fire. So. You guys want to switch the coins? Yeah. Can we? <laughs> God damn it. Um, yeah, we can. Yeah, There's a session idea. There's a session idea. You only flip Ooh. a coin, it's natural 20 or crit oh. fail. Oh god. Oh, that's, god. Actually, this, that's actually uh, that's actually a, a that's an item on, on D in D D. That's a game hmm. for a, a drunk knight, is what that is. That is a game. Is. <laughs> so, that's a drunk one shot. You lose the tracks a little bit as it's going along the road um in the rain, but then you're like you catch it um further up as just it was just puddles kind of washing it away and even through the rain and kind of the front that had come through to wash it all the way. You're able to track it in the mud. It looks like it is being carried by about uh, two horses. And it's heading directly to my lorry, following the road. So now I believe is a perfect time, Lionel and Schwing, if you're interested in the classic investigator's technique of projecting with little evidence. We must see what we think could be happening based on our feelings and our emotions. And I think since two hunters were taken, possibly it could be linked to either the spider or, regrettably, the Archdruid. And if it is the Archdruid collecting hunters to protect his lion, I don't know how I feel about that. Lion, would you like to try? I, what, sir? Oh, you just postulate. I was taking postulate. Yes. What do you think is happening? Someone said we found a campsite. There was a struggle. Two hunters. Wildeco, if Schwing can be trusted about that, and I think he can. Taken by one. Was it one? You read I think it was one. It was one. Two skilled Absurd. hunters subdued Perhaps. by one skilled hunter hunter. Perhaps the lycanthropes that we've been fighting and the the kidnapping innocent people to turn them into lycanthropes and force them into the army. Understood. Or perhaps they are looking for me as I wear the armor of the world decor, you know. Uh you're both I mean, quite the, uh, skilled at this. A lot of us around, but I hope somebody's not after me the same way they're after Pim. No, because nobody's that's... after me. I think one person is still after Seriously. me for sure. <laughs> <laughs> they all really know somebody's after you. I just like there don't, were three I people just... after you, and I believe we killed one, arrested the other, I and one is quiet. still after you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. By the way, quick question: This guy killed the guy, right? Like we watched him kill the guy with the vials and the store for the oh. dead drop. Yeah, that is true. He he killed our friend, whose name yeah. I know, and is Cor coming. Yeah, th that Cordich. guy. Our friend yeah. Cordich. Well, those are both great concepts and ideas, and I think you've done a great job for your first postulations. We continue. Uh, what is a posture? What you did. Pa pa don't, post don't worry about the... Okay. You can't read. I've been outside. You don't have windows? Not that I can see out of. <laughs> don't you people have phones? <laughs> look how, like, how am I supposed to? I can't look out that window. That's so high. Oh, you need to get a ladder and climb up there and fall like off of it. It might fix your back. That would be might fix your back. A cute, quick that, disconnection. Look, that Hurricane Ida. Hurricane Ida's getting us. We we're getting we're getting rained on. We're getting thundered on. Uh, I'll tell you what. There's so much water outside. You could swim down the street. <laughs> That bitch. That bitch. She's always stopping just... our stream. I can't see you guys. Let me re with oh, her own is. stream. I think the stream just dropped. I don't think it stopped, which is nice. Oh, cool. All right, we're back. Are we back? Hey. So back in it. Um, you guys are traveling back. Um, 
They took oh, yeah. I, I asked you a question. I couldn't remember what it was, though. You asked me what the word meant, and I said, don't worry about it. Yeah, and then there was another question. Hmm. I didn't hear it. Yeah. You were froze. I'm sorry. Does speaking? anybody remember what I asked Clay? No. Well, fuck it. I'm sure it was of little importance. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm sorry, I zoned out a bit there, Schwing. I didn't mean to ignore you, but it happens from time to time. What? <laughs> hmm? So, is would you guys like to do anything else uh, on the way back? It's a couple hours. We I'm in the rain. This guy? Oh, that's right. Oh, no, interrogate, sorry. Advanced. <laughs> interrogation. Advanced interrogation <laughs> techniques. I would like to um, dump a bunch of water on a rag and stuff it in his mouth. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. That is, a, that is an advanced interrogation <laughs> technique. We already pulled oh, his gonna, eye out, right? Geez. Someone just going to escalate from there. Uh, yeah, Danny or Lionel popped his eye out. I don't think Lionel so, could. I think Sving did it. Yeah. I couldn't. Is he like, oh, that's right, with the knife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, who? Oh, oh yeah, because for the the moonstone, yeah. Yep. Oh, he had moonstone fuck. in his eye. Okay. Well, that do I, happened. Do I have a moonstone? <laughs> I have it. I just you have you, it. Okay. You popped it out for me. <clears throat> like a true friend. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Can you pop this guy's eye out for me? I don't wanna. <laughs> Shang just fucking spooned in there immediately. Yeah. Like, like I mean, this. it's it, yeah. He's it's a sleeper like, psychopath, though. <laughs> it's a, it's like skidding a fish. It's Not you, you, you do it once, you do it a thousand <laughs> times. It's no big deal. He is he's drowsy at best. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Yeah. Uh, do we need to do this now? Because I think that there is. Um, I don't want Serge to go to his audition thinking he missed out on the information that could be relevant to the dangerous situation he's going into. I think I we need to get them I'm there not going as soon to as possible. Dangerous situation. I'm just. Go and do a. Oh wait! Didn't we, we learn saw that the people some people pen? at the? Yeah, they what were the there. Do you think that's related to these were creatures and the moonstones? Well, I, think it, I do think that's related. I think everything in this town is related. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Indeed. I will tell you that I am from Alabama. Everyone is related. <laughs> that's good enough. That's, that's it. good. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> you got the Alabama accent. You came out weird. They're just like, well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you you know what, Coben? You are not wrong. Well, no. um, do we want to do this as a group or should we wait? I guess this is the question. Oh, I want to do it as a group. I mean, we should well, do it now. We, the, if we do it as a group, we need to do it on the road, which may be more difficult. Or we could just drag him behind the horse. Well, we don't want to kill him. Well, he's... I'm just... It's not the horse. Oh, well, it's a creature. The mount. Uh, he has the giant li lizard <sighs> Ecoli just turns back at you and just like... With his I do lizard that. tongue. <laughs> no, I just kind of... Well, I'm going to go pat his cheek. Mr. Sir Raven? Yes, Raven. Oh. Hello. Oh, it's got me good. Yes, we did. What's a... He, he's got one eye, I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> What's Tebrin's plan for the Ceridium Glow? Well, I don't know. I slap him. Hey, man, there's nothing. You no, don't I need to do were, I thought you were still <laughs> sleeping because you said something stupid. What is Tebrin's plan for the Ceridium Glow? What? That stupid festival-like thing? Yes. Ah. He has no plans on stuff like that. He's collecting lycanthropes and putting Moonstone in their hands to control them, is he not? Whoa, 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 whoa. Gave you this information. I'm sorry, Vert, I didn't hear you. You sounded a little bit like a bitch. <laughs> Can you say that again? <laughs> <laughs> that was a coin. I can't Flip take a coin. 
That should be a coin. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a 14, so 13. <laughs> like you, you've got spunk. I gave your mother spunk. <laughs> <laughs> He's on fire. Yeah. He's on fire. <laughs> Tepper doesn't have any plans with the city and blow. There's nothing to plan about. It happens every hmm, what five years? What happens every five years? Why does he not need to plan? It's the glow. And, and what is he not planning go. for? <laughs> There's a festival. Why is I... he collecting lycanthropes? As pets. Look. All you guys over a... the rats. And uh, you got some misinformation. Do we now? Pers I want to... I would like to insight that. Yeah, I want to see if he's spinning us a tail. Or, like, trying to twist yeah. the truth into yeah, yeah, yeah. his... Against roll his, inside. Like... Yeah, of course. Five plus five is ten. Now the roll... Fifteen plus four is nineteen. Quobin, uh, well, you're unable to get a read on him at... Well, just the rain and like the as as you guys are moving and I'm interrogating him, but Sphinx, you do get the sense that he's fucking with you guys a little bit, but you also with the nineteen sense a little bit of like admiration to you guys, and you can see he kind of he's glancing and as his gaze is shifting around, just the one eye, he's looking at like everyone's gear and he keeps shifting towards. Uh, Lionel, he is so. He is an elf now that you guys see, but he has a buzzed head, so like really short hair. Now that he's out of his raven form, um, when you guys knocked him out, he went into his elven form. He's a drow. Um, yeah, he's got nice leathers, nice dark leathers, and uh, hand crossbows on him. And a, a bow. But. I, I think we would have like taken his weapons off of him probably. Yeah I mean just like around. Like uh, like not on him maybe. But like on the path. Yeah, like the stuff that. Yeah, sure. yeah just to. Bundle gotcha. them, so, we'll say. Yeah. Well if. So. If, if that is true ahead. and and we are being misled. Why don't you clear up the misunderstanding. Then I urge you. This is of the utmost importance. Even though you may not understand why the Serene Glow is important, it is. Kind of looks around and is like gauging his surroundings and then like can see him kind of struggle with his hands and that like, try to escape, like, I will strike you down. He, he's not trying to escape, he just like okay. Oh, that's how I, like you can see the processing of like, alright, this is how the situation is as he's feeling he's bound up. There's nothing Oh, what was the question? I was blanked out. I asked him to clear up his if we've been misled and how so. Yes. Look. They call him the rat for a reason. He's a liar. Is that tracks? Yeah. And look, the rat Tepper was afraid didn't... and had no reason to lie because we were trying to help him. Tepperin didn't Give us where? Oh. He came after. Then who is giving you the moonstone? And are they distributing I don't know. the lycanthrope gift? Are they distributing? You do the not. Gift? You don't know who put that fucking moonstone in your skull. I didn't happen. I can tell you I who took it out of eye. it. This guy. And I point his finger. I it had a, a glass eye worse. before I got the moonstone. It's just some flare. I, yeah. I'm going to produce flame. <laughs> okay. And like, put my like in my hand. I'm like, put it next to his face, <laughs> so he can like feel like I don't know how hot it gets or something. But I want to almost burn his face off. 
Not not okay. like injure him, but like get really hot, really Give him close. the old Rux like, Blanton look. Singe his and eyebrows, ask, maybe. Ask very forcefully who gave you the Moonstone. Make an intimidation check. <laughs> That's. Yeah, I'm gonna say. Gonna honestly, with disadvantage because you're using fire in the rain. Okay. <laughs> Just to make it. Uh, oh, touch. boy! We need to roll another one. <laughs> I rolled a three. Don't need to roll another no. one? Okay. Yeah, no. Roll for the crit, no. Roll for the crit, fam. You rolled a two, um, you can always do worse. Well, you can, can do worse. Yeah. I, yeah, I would like to see that, actually, so I will roll right, another one. Alright, go for it. As you, you kind of pull your... Like, you have an intimidating visage to you and you get close with the flame, but as the, it's raining and, like, kind of blows out and, like, it's a little, you know, glimpse of a flame and he just kind of goes... Of the rest of it. Another three. <laughs> <laughs> There's no point of advantage or disadvantage. Yeah, the advantage does not rolls. matter. <laughs> I told you that I wanted the three. <laughs> so that's funny. Okay, yeah, nothing happens. It's going to get more extreme. Well, if you, cannot, if, you cannot, <laughs> if you cannot answer that question, Raven, how did you come by to be moon blessed? Spin oh, us I... a tale. It's uh, been some time. But was... My family was attacked and I got picked up by... Uh, a raven and was fed to the nest at some point and I guess that didn't go so well, you know? But I managed to escape most of it. Not the transforming, but... And when did the eye appear? Oh, that's how I lost my eye. I just no, put in another one. Not disappear. When did the Moonstone Eye appear? Oh. Um. A while back. Um, uh, somebody came by. Somebody. Invited a group of us. Yeah. Who was he that? He was masked up. We don't know. We've referred to him as the mask. What kind of mask? Was it purple? Yeah, but better than the ones that we wear. Because, you know. Yeah, we make them. Did uh, did he look like a man? He did look like a man. <laughs> he looked like a he man. He looked like a man. Just <laughs> <laughs> Miss Swan. He immediately goes to Miss Swan. He <laughs> looked like a man. I love Miss Swan. Miss Swan's such a good Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I made well, myself miss myself. This mask no. figure, is he still... Around, is he still partaking? I haven't seen him since. And when was you months that? later? From um, now, how many years ago, months ago, weeks ago? Just under a year, maybe. Yeah, if I think about a year, probably eight, nine months. And Tebrin came in a few months later, offered us some coin, said he needed an extra what? arrow or two, bada bing, boom, that's where I come in. Take people down for a little bit of coin. Yes, you murdered. You can see it in your eyes over there, druid, that you are much like me. Hmm. Don't, are, don't is, project are we, like, onto Pem. Pem is fighting for righteous causes. Are we stopped? While no, we're, we're like going. interrogating him? Okay. I need my coin to keep my lifestyle afloat. You know what I mean. And with his one eye, he looks at you, Pem, and gives you a wink with his one eye. Yeah. <laughs> 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 As I'm writing, as I'm, as he I'm, only winks, actually, I guess. As I'm taking notes, I'm going to lean into Quobin's ear and kind of say, Sir, perhaps you should ask about 
the Nerazine ink? Well, I was about, just about to do that. Oh, of course, sir. Yes. Well spotted, though. Well spotted. <laughs> so, Raven, what do you know about Nerazine Corporation? Oh, they, you know, they buy up a bunch of stuff. A bunch of business folks, I don't know. Are you aware of any shady dealings they've done? Any strong arming? Oh, strong arming, uh, not so much. Uh, strong arm with money? Definitely. What this? And who is who have they been bribing? Um. Well, for that, we need a little bit of. Coin. I slap him. And he smiles and like, that's what the shot. You know? All right. Um. Look, I remind you before what you say. I remind you that you are existing on our generosity. Now, we are not mirthless murderers, but I guarantee I will look around and find someone you've wronged and turn you over to whoever, whatever authorities they think are necessary. Uh, Corbin, excuse me if I might interject yes, here. We saw him shoot a man. Yes. Yes, I did. He wronged that guy. I okay. guess he can't testify. He's dead. Yes. Never mind. And I, and don't didn't you all get arrested for that? Yes, but we left. We we released. We are yeah. in no yeah. trouble with the law. We're not afraid of the law. Then we have something in common. Look, there, everyone's in somebody's pocket. So if somebody's buying something out, then uh, we gotta figure out who's buying them out. And who is the Nerazine Corporation buying out? Well, they're buying up whatever they can find. Uh, like I, the church? I would like names. They buy up... I heard they buy up the church. They, they recently are trying to buy out that old, uh... A uh, little, uh... Tavern, I think, uh... You all were staying in. <laughs> Scheiße! And do you think they bought out the they tall would... glass. They bought out lovely bar, though. I mean, can't go back. I look at Surge. Keeps that in mind later. And uh, they've bought out a lot of things since. What about uh, the arch druid? I mean, they haven't bought out him. What's left of the the stroll by wood? They don't. Have they tried to buy out the Archdruid? Oh, of course. I mean, they did, for the most part. That's Everything mm -hmm. they have in the Ruset Row now is uh, used to be part of the Shroll by Wood, but mm. they sold half of it, and they stick, they're holding on to the next half. Guys, me... very upsetting. Tell me this, yeah. Raven. Not good. If you had to... Tell us what you find important. What would that be? Money. Coin. Gold. Silver. Copper. Platinum if you got it. Nothing else. Nothing else Look, seems to... With a little bit of money, I take it down. Take it to the spinner. I do... I, I hit big. Boom, boom, boom. I'm out of Oh, you like silver, huh? Okay. I'll pull out a coin and just press it to his forehead. You see Coben's face. He doesn't like of... silver like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm just having a dick. As a... Uh, make a nature check. You see Coben's face after that question kind of go... Me make a nature? Mm-hmm. And serious... Natural one. Yep. yep. <laughs> okay. So there's nothing that you find above wealth. Nothing drives you. No reasons, no anything. Everyone's got to make the paycheck somehow. You just find out what you're good at and you focus on it. And uh, turns out I'm good at shooting people in the back when they're not looking. Serge, 
Um, I'm sorry. Hmm? Uh, it appears that we will be late to town. Um, hmm. I will not fault you for carrying on uh, to make your appointment. Yeah, I, I do need to catch it. This will take about an We've hour. We've been here so. for a little bit. All right. Um, well, Lionel, will yes, you help I... me untie the raven? We'll oh, just yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we are doing. Him. I know we are make, just from the making horse, a good. Not let him go. Oh, uh, of course, sir. Or not horse from E. coli. Uh, I suggest you carry on if you need to meet your appointment. This will, like I said, this will take a moment. Mm. Uh, if you would like to take E. coli, oh. No, I we, guess we I said I would. We won't need him. Okay. Uh, I guess. Okay. I I said I would go with you. I will come with you. Let's Thank go. You. Pen, you Let's go, and I. We'll be going I'll jump to on the, the, mo the monastery after this. But we'll need. Bye, Pam. Later. I'll see you later. Bye, Coben. Bye, Lionel. Before we go, I lean down to the raven. I'm like, if you know what's good for you, you'll talk, and you'll talk quick because they won't make it easy. All right. Let's go, Spring. Yeah, hop on. And then... Oh, right. hopping on. All right, uh, Pem, are you going with... Are you staying for the uh, oh, longer sorry. interrogation? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I figured. All right, as Surge and Sphinx, you're able to travel quicker, just the two of you, on Ecoli's back. Um, I, I want to show yeah. him what Ecoli can do, so just full sprint. Yeah. <laughs> that lizard his, walk. His little lizard paws are like slapping in the mud. It's just. <laughs> That's um, it's a spot. rough ride, Surge, but uh, it's fast. Mm -hmm. Cute as fuck. Fast. <laughs> yeah, less, less like this, more like. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, I've got a tail, so I can. Yeah. I guess you, you've got a, you got a tail too, don't you? Like like a little tail. <laughs> okay. Doesn't do that fancy shit. Um, okay. So, I don't know how long it takes us to get there. Where are we going from here? I mean, I, we're going to the tall glass, but... Yeah, that's where I'm going is, like, we got all, all of our shit. He's, they're all, all right. back there, so... Just yeah, like we'll, we'll just continue and... with them for a yeah. second, and then we'll sure. come back to you guys. Yeah, that's, that's what I meant. Okay. Yeah, what would you, uh, the three of you, now that uh, Ecoli is taken off? Uh, Lionel, put him on his knees. Of course, I, I kind of kind of kicked the back of his knees to get him to buckle. And you I see Coben... I knew I would be killed like this. You see Coben Out in out. the middle of nowhere... Silver, Bullet to my similar head. Similar to the and start doing incantations. Sehanin, one of your children is lost, and I fear lost more than I can help. I think no one can help. So perhaps later on, no in your, in your stars, and I pull out silver dust and I kind of brush it in the shape of a crescent moon on his forehead. It, you, you can see it almost arms. like it leaves like a burn mark. Um, make a nature check real quick. With advantage with your backstory. Let's see what my nature is. Uh, natural 20. Of course. Roll for the Beautiful. crit. Beautiful. I did. That was two, uh, 20 to 7. Okay. I got you. Um, <laughs> Roll for the crit. <laughs> as, as you s smear it in a moon, you realize... Um, not only realize, but maybe rejog some memory that where creatures are um, hurt by silver, like uh, in silver coated thing. Um, it pierces through. They knew they have like uh, moon touch skin, so any sort of weapon and stuff hitting their skin is almost ineffective, or either ineffective to certain where creatures, or com resistant to lesser where creatures. But um, silver-coated things or things made out of silver pierce through their skin. I hope, Sehanin, you can find a place for this creature in your eternal hunt along with you. And I'm doing pretty much a similar ceremony to what I did in the, the Twilight Chamber. 
and then pretty unceremoniously as I'm reciting things, and may the knight guide you, and I just hit him across the head with my mace and kill him. I just oh. execute him. Oh my god. Okay. This okay. soul was nowhere to be found and beyond help. Only looking for ill to do in the world. And we send him to you. <laughs> and it's like bad. I just like murder okay. him. Some bear juice shit right there. I'm gonna be <laughs> yeah. like I'm gonna be a little stunned because I was gonna like ask him some more no, questions. No, I'm fucking shook. <laughs> yeah. I'm stunned. Yeah. And but... may he find guidance. I get why he did it. In your stars. <laughs> and then I begin to just bury him. Begin to just dig a hole. Okay. And oh, I finish, uh, so and I'll I finish right casting back. the funeral rite spell with ceremony. <laughs> and what mechanically, what does that do? He can't be turned into undead for a week. Okay, so it's like a. You're resting. Okay, yeah, I was like, wondering I'm, what part of ceremony I, you're going to use, I, but holy shit. I, I thought it was going to be a funeral, different part. I cast Funeral Rite on him. Okay. As I and... saw no redeeming qualities and no reason anywhere that he Love should it. be allowed to move forward in the world. So and may it... I be excused for a bathroom break? Yes, of course. This shouldn't be too difficult from here. All right, I'm going to go to like wherever like the closest tree is. Yeah. Serge, I think we're missing something really important. Maybe we should turn back. <laughs> <laughs> well, funeral rite takes an hour. We don't so have like, time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what it's been a while. It takes it takes a while I... for me to properly bury this person. I understand. It was just a bad mm -hmm. joke. Fuck me, guys. Gee, oh, God. I just fuck you. Yeah, so... never mind. I'm not gonna explain. <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Lionel and Pem. <laughs> Lionel and Pem, how? So I think both of you were were shocked and taken aback by <clears throat> Coben, as you can see, saw before him like setting up the ceremony, and then just executing the Were Raven in front of you, almost without even looking at you guys for guidance at all. And uh, what what I'm what's happening after this? About. As, yeah, I'm gonna, a... yeah, I'm gonna just take a moment and then walk back, looking up mostly with my eyes. Okay. I think probably since I wouldn't be able to dig that much, I'd probably find stones and make like a cairn. Okay. I just uh... in the road or like on the side <laughs> on of the, the road? side of the road, just make a little funeral cairn. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm just kind of like shocked, but I, I, I think I, uh, I agree with Copen's decision, and I think I, I would just like try to help him with the burial and be quiet. Right. And he's still That's he's it. very serious through the whole hour of the ceremony, like very diligently doing it, not like in no jokes, nothing at all, like very like. Serious about Very it. somber mood. Yeah. Okay. So, so how's the rest of the how's the rest of the trip look like for you guys? As tone wise, going back, I assume it's pretty quiet. <laughs> um, I feel I like Quoban uh, feels fine. Quoban, I think but... I think he would lecture a little bit on the way back. Okay. Dictate. So. As much as, we, a sermon. <laughs> and as much as we want to save and send like we were the other lycanthropes back to the church, some souls are too far gone and cannot be saved. And from his own lips, he said there's no reason for him to go on. He would have just backstabbed us as soon as money said so. He would have killed whoever gave him the most coin, and those types of creatures belong nowhere in this world. I have a question. How old is Coben? I don't think he's that old. Hold on. I don't remember. What him. is Coben? I think he's like ha halfling. He's, he's a half, a half, half he's I think he's like half 35, elf. so like 20 ish. Okay, so you're definitely like older young. than me. But not that. You're older than my character, though, by, I don't know, like, if you're like 35. Maybe like 30. Like, he's not. If you're like old. still, my character's like 18 or 20 or something. Um. 
in elven in human years, years, I guess. Yeah, in human years, yeah. yeah. Well, that's kind of like... Um, yeah. I, I think I'm 100 years old in like elven yeah. years. Yeah. Um, but, <laughs> but you're a young adult. I guess my, my point is, I think I would kind of like look up to Coben as like a, like he knows about this this religion and is like trying to do good and stuff. So I would be kind of influenced, I think, a little bit because he's like an older, like not, not that much, but you know, he's like somebody that I look up to. So I think the whole time that you're talking, I would just be like intently listening and like, <laughs> just like yeah, like, yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> And while we may not uh, want to do these things, it is what must be done. And those who take up take up the role of Knights Radiant must know when to show the palm of forgiveness or show the fist of judgment. All right, and as you guys finish your journey, um, we'll... <laughs> Cut to the, we'll cut to the other two. <laughs> so you guys ride into town um, at a quick pace. Um, head through. A um, couple of the guards. It, it's pretty open gates here in Mylari. There's not much for um, questioning anything, but you do see a couple of blood wood that one looks at you and just gives you a, a short nod as you guys come in. And you guys make your way through to group set row and find a place called the tall glass you see a sign out front um i think you guys somebody has been there before but briefly yeah us us two two. Been there before, us, okay i didn't i didn't know if it was you two specifically i knew it was surge and somebody i didn't know. I, w- I went with him to mm-hmm. sign yeah, up yeah, yeah. and then gotcha so as you guys return Inside, up here, um, it's a small bar. As you guys walk in, um, there is a bartender, a elf, a red band standing by that door, which you clocked um, the last time you were here, and a figure with a case of mu- musicianship, a little loot case, at the bar having a drink, which you guys recognize as the backside of Mercs, as you see his red hair and kind of purple jacket. And then in the side corner, kind of closing up a little booth, um, putting things away is a female dwarf. Um, but it, like has signs of like the City of Glow Festival, the celebration and stuff, and is rolling posters down and stuff. You can see that there was a uh, like sign up sheet that says sign up sheet, and she's like taking it down. Nine! Nine! I said no, nine. Wait, wait. Nine, I'm gonna pick fucking hell. I just hit my elbow. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I need to get You gotta move desk. that desk, man. Something has to change. What the fuck? <laughs> anyway, I'm hey, everybody. Fucking, fucking elbows beware. <laughs> fuck you, Connor. <laughs> that, that's a Wait, great what did it say? Meme, Damn, I missed oh, it. Oh, dude, it's, it's so good. Ooh, fuck, I'm it's so good. Thing. Show you everyone. Yeah, just go ahead and there you go. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh dude, the great challenge. The great challenge. <laughs> dude, oh, yeah. can you take a picture of that and put it on the Discord? It, it already is. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god, he literally posted. <laughs> <That> is, <laughs> don't look too closely at the elbow. I had to Photoshop it. <laughs> hell yeah. Oh, That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, oh, you know yeah, what? Okay. I'm going to say it. I don't care that you hurt your elbow. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. Right. I don't That's either. Great. I don't care either. But, uh, I'm going to say it. I'm going <laughs> to grab I'm going to grab him. I see I see what's going on. I get it. I understand. I'm just going to grab him and all of the shit and just run up put him on stage or mm-hmm. wherever there was a little like lifted area where they can tell Tell just by like the amount of glasses that the bartender is cleaning that whatever little event that was here is no longer happening. <laughs> it's still hitting me. <laughs> <laughs> what? I, uh, this is so good. <laughs> are the, I stand the on judges the stage awkwardly for a second. Um, the judges, where are the judges? 
shit. Oh, Judges. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, I'm sorry. We, we've, we've, the signups are, the auditions are already over. Nine. We've already, no. We've already selected somebody <laughs> and, uh, no. From the bar turns. No. 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 Copy. You late again, you. Oh my god. Looks like you've fallen short <laughs> one more time. Name a more iconic duo. I'm going to use. I still have my pet, which is outside with Eagle Eye. Yes. I'm going to use my 60 feet of movement to tackle this guy off of his stool. <laughs> oh god, it's a bar fight immediately. Okay. Oh. Just... <laughs> yep. make, a, make an attack roll. He does have AC and we pull up his paint. Is it an attack roll or is it a grapple? You're, you're assaulting him. I, I am assaulting him <laughs> like a linebacker. Yeah, yeah. that's assault. That's okay. illegal. <laughs> you got a flag on the play. Okay. So, what? What is the? What is my modifier at this point? Um, is it a strength? Is it strength based? Sure. I'll, okay. Just make an acrobatics roll. Or athletics check, whichever one you want to use, and that'll be his AC my is twelve. Is, so. My acrobatics is a plus five, so let's fucking go with his that. AC is twelve, so he's just roll do, if you meter beat twelve. He's gonna do that black gonna... widow like thighs around the neck takedown. <laughs> he just like fifteen. <laughs> he's kind of like, <laughs> and then just he's like, like cocky, like well, 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 and just, <laughs> just tackled by a cat in the bar. And you're just like, I don't know what you're doing, but you're like, you tackle him, you're on top of him. And then uh, yeah, the person kind are. of the, the dwarf is just like, oh my god, what is happening? Shrink, shrink. shrink. Good. Bring his, bring calm. His hand. calm down. Off of me, you. This is this is the same guy that was talking shit to Surge the first yep. night, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's Mercs. I know him. He's an asshole, but there's no need to rough him up. So, Not uh, in here, anyways. Get off of me, you crazy <laughs> cat! What are you? What you animal? Don't Nine. you know how to behave? Uh, yeah, this is how I behave. Listen, I'm a hunter. It's you so want to be ass. hunted? <laughs> huh? You answer. want me and to as, hunt you? Shrink, shrink, shrink. <laughs> Calm and down. As you're talking, like the <laughs> civil, the uh, the red band that was standing at the door grabs you by the scruff and goes, "All right, cat, time for you to go." It's Nine. Pulling, it's pulling you off. Um, I don't let go of the other guy. Like, if he's pulling okay. me, he's pulling both of us. All right, making a uh, grappling check, athletics? Athletics. Not not as good. Less good. <laughs> 11. All right, he rolled a nat 20 to slip free. Another one. As he's like, he's like, oh. He stands up. Thank you, sir. This crazy feline is just, has no... Is he even allowed in establishments like this? How, where's your security? How fucking dare you? I'm <laughs> going back in for more. I'd fuck this dude. I might but, kill this man. I, I, I get in, in between Swing and Mercs, and I say, Mercs, just er, Swing, just calm down. It's it's okay. Get a can you can you let my friend go? He'll give him a saucer of milk or something. He'll calm down. He won't. Swing, you're all right. It's okay. Did somebody say milk? Yes, yes. Just. Have a saucer of milk and hang out by the bar, and you won't cause any more trouble, all right? And I'm looking at the guy with the red uh, hood Make or bandana. What's he got? Yeah. Uh, where's D and D Beyond? On the internet. Nice. I did like. I love the answer. Don't you know how to behave? This is how I behave. <laughs> I'm a hunter. <laughs> that is like 27. Persuasion. The best answer Ow, to that uh, question that's ever oh. been given. <laughs> yeah, I got plus eight. <laughs> he looks at you as like the, the saucer, like the red band he's holding by the scruff. He's like, Are you going to behave then? I right. don't see a sauce of milk. Some milk. The bartender is then just like in ghosts and. He gets a little saucer and puts it on the bar. I'm going to sit right next to this gentleman. Um, as Mercs is still just like, make sure he takes a cat nap too while he's at it. Ugh. Vile well, creatures you hang out with, today. Surge. 
Vile, uh, go fuck yourself. Also, have a seat. I would like to talk to you. Um, no, you just assaulted me. I, what are you here for? Anyway, Serge. I go, shut the fuck up, Mercs. And I walk past him and I go and talk to the dwarf later that seemed to be packing up and pulling down posters and things like that. Yeah, you kind of startle her. She's like, oh god, don't attack, don't, yeah. assault, don't tackle No, me. no, 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 that was... I, I've got fans, you see, and they would love to see me play, and I thought I was still in time for the auditions. What happened? Honestly, it's been... Auditions have been over for hours. I... Hours? Yes. Oh. Well... You see, I figured I'd Serge, come right? And she looks over, she goes, she like goes, there were three after after you, and I had to change the times. I, I'm sorry, but I, I, this, this, this lot is, is full. Well, if it's over so soon, you must not have had many auditions. We had a few. I mean... I, what if I can promise you, I will bring the people, I just, I need this chance, please. Give me, give me a little slot. Something that could, you know... I need help. I need this. I feel... You see my fans. They are very passionate to see me sing. I can Make come to this check. thing officially, or I can find another way. Uh, on my own show, on the same night, no to come to your show. Yep. <laughs> oh, it jumped the wall. Nice. Uh, 22. Not as good as the first. Not bad. Yeah. You can see that she looks at you with a way, like, with a way that she can sense the, the heart that you're bringing to the art, and she respects that, and um, she kind of glances over at Mercs and knows that he, and you can kind of gauge with her 22 that she knows he's a good musician in the same way that he is a good musician, but he doesn't bring the same level of heart to the art. Oh, awesome. And she gets it. She goes, okay, stay here. I only had the upstairs booked for a certain amount of time. Let me, let me see what I can do. Just thank you. Thank make you, yourself thank comfortable you. here in the bar and... I will do that. Pull, yes, I'll try to pull a favor and let me let me let me see. Thank you. What what's your name, by the way? I didn't catch your name. I'm Serge. Name by is, the way, I know you saw me on the sheet, but uh, yeah, uh, her name is Loris. I believe Loris. Yeah. Thank you. L H O R I S. Her name's Loris Rallahorn, and she's a dwarf with um, kind of auburn hair, uh, tied in like almost Princess Leia knots, but almost on the back side of the head as opposed to the side. And uh, mm -hmm. wearing fine, noble clothes, but they've been worn down as if she used to be richer than she is. Okay. But all right. <clears throat> so yes, yeah, so I'll, I'll I'll wait here by the bar with my friend, and uh, I'll wait for you to return. Hopefully, with good news. Yeah. You see her I point finger guns at her. Oh <laughs> yeah. As you walk, you see her walk over to the red band and do like. A, just see your mind kind of a short conversation then he just goes kind of nods his head and lets her into this back room and she disappears for a little bit of time as you guys are in the bar with Mercs. Where's Mercs? He's still standing up. He's a oh, bartender, why don't we get around for these two um Y'all just creatures. poured in my milk. Just I don't my my friend, you know, you give him another saucer of milk and I'll take uh whatever liquor you got. You know what? No. Do you have any uh oh god, what were they called? Lone wolf brews? Lone wolf brews from that brewery. Afraid of we don't. Um that bar <sighs> that place has been shut down. It's just down the street from here, but it Yeah, it was Damn shame that had some of the finest. All right, well, if my friend is buying, then I will take one of your finest whiskeys, please. Right, Marks? You guys back for that. You. You're doing well. Of course I can. I wasn't raised in the slums like you. Ah, so, what have you been? Just <laughs> been right at him. Oh, oh Me? coffee oh. and furball. It's a dynamic duo, you two. Look at you. Oh. 
Uh, I've I've been traveling, adventuring with my friend here and other friends out there. Maybe I'll meet them one day. But you know, looking for inspiration for epic songs. What about you? Steams, all you've been doing is inspiration just... for epic songs. Just this is your problem. You don't know the classics. You never practiced them when you were in school. Try to make up things and nobody understands it. Nobody understands that I'm trying to make new classics. Anyone can play the classics. Anyone can get a recording or hire a band to play the same old shit at their wedding. Nobody cares. I want to do something new, something exciting, something that you can only hear from me, you know? Yeah, he's got this new one. It's really good. It's about... Oh, yes. What's it called? The... I'm not going to tell you because you're probably the oh. type of assholes that would steal it. You fucking <sighs> prick. I would never. You wouldn't even know how to play it. You couldn't play it. <laughs> You'll see it at this festival if I get into it. Yeah, it's about well, the snake. I hate to burst your bubble, but... I've already got the headlining slot. For now. What a beautiful performance here. Oh, oh yeah. you poor bastard. The headliner. Mm. That means you'll have to follow my performance. And I don't think you can. Or just like last time. I know what you did me. last time. That wasn't just a performance. There was something magical in the air. Something that uh, persuaded the people. Uh, I could see it. I, I see it now. We, I didn't see it then, but I understand. We don't understand, Clappy. Uh, everything is a performance. Just uh, when you're a performer, you'll you're understand one day. You bastard! Like I said, you'll understand one day when you and uh, maybe get a show bigger than what. He, like, looks around. A small bar of four people. Ah, what do you know? You don't care. And I, I finished my drink. Let's get another one, shall we? I'm just, I'm drinking like a madman now. Okay. Uh, how much of a madman? Mad. Mad that I'm a little late, but also... A little bit happy because I feel like I persuaded I get, no, the I guess lady not, yeah, Motion mad. How much are you drinking? Because I do have drinking rules. I just want. Ah, all know. right, perfect. I will have um, three dice worth of drinks. I don't know. I'll ha I'll have one whiskey for every say whatever it takes maybe like ten minutes of her being away. Whatever you want to gauge yep. in the conversation that she has. How many doors. whiskeys are you drinking in ten minutes? That's a vibe. I oh, it, oh, I thought like one each ten minutes. Whiskey you know what? Just, how me, much are you drinking? Just give me three. In, just give me three. Three whiskey. Three, sh three doubles in ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy, oh, yeah. putting them away, dude. Merck's is buying. He is buying, and he seems enamored by uh, your tenacity to drink. Let's uh, um, roll a couple con saves here. I'm gonna say something mm -hmm. after the second drink to Surge about like those okay. two things. First con around. save is the DC eight. I loved when Pem got all emotional. That was uh, a great drug. Where we go? <laughs> con save. Oh yeah. I want some unhinged <laughs> shit to happen. I forgot about that. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, not it's not good. It's <laughs> not good. <laughs> all right. You're level oh, six. one drunk, and as the second double comes through. Make a con save. This one's DC 10. Come on. Fail it. Actually, um, alcohol strength, hard liquor is at a 4. Um, this one is DC 12. I roll the 17. He passed it. All right, you're good. You're, you're handling the second one. You are drunk and we get the effects of the drink, but you're not... Um, getting the next level of the drunk, which is like a disability. Um, so, Sphinx, you can interject here while I find the. Uh, Surge, I, she vents back there to help mm. you, I think. I don't know. Maybe you should, like, take it a little bit Jesus. easy. 
I don't know. Maybe yeah, the first one was uh, that might have been a triple. That one kind of knocked me on my ass. I I will I'll slow down. Yeah, like you might beer, have please, to like instead of you might have to play soon. I I just I still mm. want to kill this guy so. Nah, don't kill right. him. Good for competition. Okay, and like like I'm not hiding any of that conversation. You're you're a good fence thing. I don't know many people that would just throw themselves at the stranger like you have. I don't like him. I don't like him either. That's why I want to kick his ass. Me too. <laughs> and I imagine like Merckx is like in the middle of this conversation. Like I said <laughs> yeah. on the other side of him, you know? I'm buying drinks for you fucking creatures. This is how you treat me? Ah, I'm just here for the show anyways. This is how I act. You're right, I can. <laughs> Another round for these two peasants. Honestly, I'm not sure that the, the uh, like Mertz is the bad guy in this situation. <laughs> he was assaulted at the bar. <laughs> yeah, like I kind of think that we're the assholes, and he's well, no, like, there. Like, we the just no. what? It's just me and Serge. <laughs> you guys are fine. We just, just executed just, uh, someone. <laughs> you guys are fine. Execute people. All right. <laughs> so for the last drink, since it is a beer, it's will be the third drink. So this one will be the DC twelve. In 10 minutes, it goes up each time. So. <clears throat> mm -hmm. You do so, have an effect. That's how we should all gauge so. life. Is how much are you going to drink in 10 minutes? Do I have? <laughs> that's a vibe, man. What are you saying? An effect or something? Just roll the fucking Or resolve thing. the effect after this save. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 19. you're good. I knew it. 19. I knew it from like seven but days ago. You uh, you do have like a, like, you know, your loop, loopy vision and stuff, but... You just have disadvantage mm -hmm. on perception and uh, dex checks, so you're a little, a little wobbly, but you're you're good. Um, roll a d8. Two. Okay, for two hours, you have resistance to cold damage, but you are vulnerable to fire damage as the whiskey drink is inside of you and is. You can feel as it burned down. It's just burning in your gut now. I'm just kind of like and it's it's chur it's churning and turning in there, but it is uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just just okay. mark that down. For one hour, you said. Uh, two hours, right? You rolled two, two hours. hours. Yeah. And what did you say the disadvantages were? Did you say dexterity um, and what else? Uh, perception. Okay. I don't need those to sing. I'm okay. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Done many of shows pretty shit based. Mm -hmm. As long as you can stand up and not fall off the stage, which happens. All right. <laughs> so after 10 minutes, uh, Loris comes back and goes, Oh, yes. So I did. I talked with the owner and i was able to get um in order for the i need to see how it it's a crowd and since there's nobody up here she like looks around the dead bar and then marks is just like <laughs> kind of laughs at that um i've arranged for um if you guys want to come downstairs they've allowed you you two just to come down for um for can you one or two songs one or two songs? I can do that thing. What do you think? Uh, oh. Yeah. I'm trying not to hesitate because I know there's some shit behind the door, but I know I want to get into this thing. So, Swing, let's pop on down to the door. Yeah. 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 All oh, right. by the way, I'm not performing. I'm not the performer. Is he I'm allowed? Just here for, he can come uh, with me, support. right? He's sort of my hype man. Um. Yeah, I did say there was were two of you, and then Marks goes, and I would love to, you know, since I am already, you know, signed on, I would love to see who would open for me as well. Absolutely allow. not. No. He's as gonna roll a persuasion check to get part down of there. the competition. No. As as my friend here, Serge's PR manager, I'm going to say no. Absolutely not. 
If you have seen some shady shit before, go on. I rolled with, a, uh, this guy. I rolled a persuasion for him. <laughs> I, I like on. what you're putting down. You roll persuasion as well. I love that this is the second beat... time in Dallas gaming history where someone will have a manager. <laughs> 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 Where one of our people you... becomes a performer, and the other one is like, I am the manager. <laughs> Clay, you have passed the torch. <laughs> I just hope I can make it as good as you did. Okay, you said persuade something? Persuasion, per yep. Persuasion? Persuade, persuade something. I rolled, I rolled blood for him, <laughs> and just before you resolve it, I, the DC is 14. I crit, crit fail. fail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, two. Oh, um, she great. goes like she like does not believe you're the manager. Um, you don't act like a manager at all, and uh, <laughs> this is how I. She's play. not even sure like how sentient you are. You know, as, as a tabaxi, it's like <laughs> oh, no. you seem pretty feral, and uh, oh no. She goes um. Yeah, Marcus, that's fine. You can, you can, I, you can come down too. Um, let's enjoy the show, and keep your mouth Whoa. shut, Marcus. I want all judging to be, um, up, like, objective. So. Let the crowd decide. Just as we should. That should be our first shirt. Is well, this guy hates me. It's not a fair part to be for him to be in the crowd. I, look, I would keep my mouth shut. I just want to see you fail, Cloppy. It'll be amazing. You see, look okay. at that. Look at that. He's biased as fuck. <laughs> all right. Fuck. As uh, Loris leads all three of you down the stairs, this is where we'll take our break. Oh, all right. God. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Welcome back. Uh, back. Um, well done. Nice. So we're gonna go to the other other half of the group. <laughs> um, that just, we'll just gloss over that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Who was that? Connor, I totally forgot. I fucking completely forgot. Was, wait, that was a soundboard piece. That was yeah. <laughs> wait, I thought that what? was real. I thought <laughs> that was real too. Back. <laughs> 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 oh, nipples on Twitch. No, oh shit! Sorry. 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 Uh, sorry. No nipples. That wasn't oh. a nipple. Those are those are pasties. Those are pepperonis. Just pepperonis. <laughs> got, he always wears pasties. Yeah, he always wears pepperoni pasties. <laughs> pepperoni <laughs> pasties is a band name. Pepperoni <laughs> pasties is a good band name. I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> little charcuterie board chest. <laughs> no, I like little charcuterie, the rapper that comes on. Like <laughs> little charcuterie. Yo, hey, we're pepperoni pasties. Bangers only. <laughs> and this Bangers is little only. charcuterie. <laughs> little charcuterie. <laughs> pepperoni pasties featuring little right. charcuterie. <laughs> nah. Oh my god. We need to go All back right. to break. We need to go back to break. Yeah. All right, three, two, one, <laughs> and. So, <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> I, tr I tried. I couldn't. All right, go. go, go. All right, we got this. We got this. <sighs> so, Pem, Lionel, and Quobin. You guys walk back into my lorry. His dance is from the sticky cheese. The rain has quieted. Uh, over your journey, as it's been mostly quiet, as Quobin's <sighs> kind of been monologuing. Why don't you see I don't, just... I don't think I monologued the whole way. I think right after there was a short. Actually, yeah, there was I, a, there I was. Short. It, I think it would have come off kind of like lecturing, but also like to myself. Like this is I had to do it, and it was almost like mm -hmm. a little self comfort speech. Yeah. Because he doesn't seem um, like yeah. hype, and I don't think he would come off as like everything's fine. But it was like gotcha. it had to be done. And Lionel, you do see Pem like kind of fervently, kind of like nodding and acknowledging. 
and uh, <clears throat> is getting to my lorries. Uh, there's the, uh, you see two guards who give you a nod and kind of welcome <clears throat> back. And where would you? Uh, what are you guys doing? I believe we are going to the uh, monastery of the silent monks. I forget what their names were and where that was. I'm looking. It was in Ruset Row. I might be wrong. It was in Tokatown. I was it's... wrong. It was the Temple of Baidarka, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> I heard different. <laughs> what did you have? I just want to. I heard the temple of Bite Our Cock. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what it is, right? That's what I heard. Yeah. That's what I heard. <laughs> it happened so quickly. <laughs> you know, you think you write Bite Our Cock, they're like, they're not going to do anything with that. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I can't. I don't know. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how. I don't know why. <laughs> Tell me oh. why. <laughs> the raven is dead. As you guys enter the town in Toka Town, you do see the temple of Baidar Kass. Kass. And Oral. around you do see you, you, here you do see um, <laughs> a bunch a bunch of monks wearing their robes. Um, they are all bald, and they kind of enter, you see the tail end of them, like a line of them almost enter this little monastery. And outside, the last one uh, shuts the door and kind of stands outside, not as a guard, but just kind of, he doesn't, he doesn't, you don't see him lock it, you just see him kind of stand there as like a... <clears throat> Some sort of a uh, greeter figure. Can I do a history check to see if I remember any of customs or know anything about it from like my sister? Yeah, I'll uh, make a history check with advantage because um, family time. Uh, eight. Eight. <clears throat> M. You're outside of. Just the immediate things your sister has told you. You don't know any history of okay. the monks. You know that they go, they take a a pilgrimage up the mountain. Yeah. And these look to have either, you know that once most of them go up, they don't usually come back. So you know, would know that these monks hadn't gone up. Oh, so these these can speak still. Um, they take a vow of silence before they go up mm. but excuse it's, me it's a uh, um, almost as practice monk uh we we come with <clears throat> unfortunate news and we are hoping to speak with someone of some authority here this is a matter of the town and of the arch druid will that be possible kind of like Gives you like a shake of the head and no, like, and then points and does like a try to communicate that they're doing like a, a religious thing in there, or like, you know, it's a sacred moment. Do you know how much longer? <clears throat> gives you like a like a small amount of time. May we observe? Like a. Persuasion check. Persuasion is an 11. He just looks at you and he goes, and kind of pats his chest like, like it's a, you tell it, it means something a lot to have them have this moment. I understand. Well, I would be being dishonest with you if 
I would say I'm a little disappointed and due to the grave and immediate nature of the news we bring, we are concerned something may be happening with the Sidium Glow. May I ask if, if this ritual you're doing has anything to do with that? Do the monks have any traditions with it? He shakes his head no. And that's basically it. You see, my sister joined the Silent Monks in Iselinor. And she has made it up and back the journey from the peak, the Silent Peak, to take up the orders. We don't talk much, as you can imagine, but I receive a letter every now and then. So I understand the hesitancy and all these things, but I, I suppose we are willing to wait. Do we have anything else we to do? Is it under an hour? Over an hour? Under an hour. Okay, I see. Well, I suppose we can just wait. Pam, what do you think? I think we could wait. I could use a short rest. Yeah, it sounds like this monk's temple is popping off. All right, well, we'll just... You guys we'll... could, like, get a couple of drinks and party. We, we will wait here for the ceremony to finish. Okay, uh, as you guys wait, you can't take a short rest here. and then we can, Unless you would like to do anything else over this hour. Um, um, can, I'm going to read through my, my... Just my celestial book. While we wait. Okay. Alright. Um, yeah, so an hour goes by, you see a couple... Everyone make perception check. Just in Tokotown. Natural one, baby. Oh, yeah? We out here. Uh, roll for a, roll for a crit. <laughs> 14. 12. Yeah? Roll for the double crit. You might as well. The, the double bummer crits. The double bummer is um, good, man. You have a heart attack. Roll no. that save. <laughs> your eyes fall out of your head. <laughs> Oh, Schwing has Guidance, too. We need to keep that in mind. Right, yeah. I do have Guidance, but also okay. I'm not here, so I'm not rolling, right? It just right. Me. Oh, 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 oh. Hit um, me like a wrecking ball. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> and as you guys wait an hour and you can short rest if you guys need it, um, patch up your wounds, and over time, I mean, there's a lot of traffic coming in and out. You guys do see the uh, the theater, which Lionel, you look at in kind of like a, a somber way that it is completely boarded up and it looks to be like uh, some construction gear has been set outside. And it looks like you're inferring that it's going to be taking the same sort of uh, lifespan as the Temple of Sehanin has already done where it's going to be converted into some sort of exhibit or show, like you know, museum of some sort, and as monks start spilling out of the temple, which you guys are outside of, kind of waiting, um, <clears throat> the door opens, it's very quiet inside as they spill out, and kind of start parting ways, going back to their homes. Hem, you notice out of the back, um, somebody walk out, and then in like a little stone building, disconnected from the church, enter a different door. And but what no, what you notice about this figure is they're in full plate, carrying a large like a uh, mace, similar to Quobin's, but um, more like a maul where it's like two headed, and. Okay. Plate helm as they kind of walk out and in. Um, the plate itself is silver lined with these like deep dark blacks, almost purple. And in this light, probably looks 
in this overcast day, like a little bluish. But they walk out of the temple that you were outside of currently and into a different one. Okay, he a goes smaller, into a door that's like close by, like off to the side. Yeah, a smaller little structure. Um, okay. But um, after some time goes by, as all this happens. I would relay that to uh, people that I'm with. Okay. Is that to cope and like similar iconography to what I have? Um, similar, and as Tim points it out, it's definitely not Knight's Radiant, mm. but... I make a check. Um, <clears throat> sure. Uh, yeah, I guess history. because other schemes come up in any yeah. other orders. Like, if I'm in the Knights Radiant, I'm sure I'm aware of potential other orders or things like that. Yeah. What's the check? I'm trying to think. Let's do, let's do history. I think that makes sense. Religion? Oh, yeah. Or, or I'll allow history or religion if, if either of you. Too bad. Thirteen for me. Three. Oh. <laughs> I'm not the best student. <clears throat> Lionel, you clock it in a way where it's similar to the nice radiant sort of armor. Um, and they probably have similar beliefs, or at least a similar belief structure, but maybe not believe in the same thing. But this person is uh, powerful as they're higher up in whatever order they're in. Okay. <clears throat> but it, yeah, okay. as everyone's, everyone kind of spills out the, the monk out front kind of gives you a wave over. He just looks more decorated, right? Yeah. Is that, is that this? Okay. Yep. Yeah, we'll follow him. And he, he like waves you and then before he does, he kind of stops you and then gives you like a bow and like I can nod. I, of like, I return like a, it. Thing. Whatever the. And he lets you in, and inside, you see one monk in a robe where it almost is like a deep V of like loose clothing, and it does have a hood, but the hood is down, and you see a bald head with his elvish um, ears popping out. He does look gaunt. Um, Skin is almost pale and dark like a like a drow, but you can tell that it's just more like he's it's either like starved response. himself or something. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> it's more sickly than it is um actually a skin tone. Or like a John to see, but for elves. And uh he's kinda of cleaning up and sweeping and just taking down some candles and stuff that they had set up for a ceremony, but it's extremely quiet in here. I would like to just quietly and non-intrusively <clears throat> excuse me. Do you, monks have a title? I stop. Do I know if they have titles that they go by? Um, I I don't know. I actually I, I was going to think of something, but I haven't I haven't thought of any titles to give you. Okay. So if you were to pass a check, I would just make something up, and I don't. Yeah. <laughs> right now. Um, um, excuse me. This uh, clergy of monks. Grand Poobah. <laughs> grand Poobah. Your Grand poobah <laughs> Oh, poobah <laughs> Excuse me. He goes like this. <laughs> this guy gets it. <laughs> um, uh, do you know who we can speak to? Uh, we have some business to do with the Archdruid, and uh, it's of grave importance. He gives you a nod, and I looks around and goes, Is this place private enough? Are you comfortable here with potentially bad news? Well, we are representative of a small group that has been investigating some of the confusion, the crimes that have been taking place around the the city in Glow, and we have also been investigating a group of lycanthropes that have been terrorizing the town. 
as well as investigating the ongoing actions, behaviors of the Nerys Incorporation. And in our investigations, we have uncovered some concerning and worrying facts that we believe may be linked with the Nerys Incorporation buying holy sites and getting rid of the representatives, attempting to pay off the Archdruid to gain more influence in the town, and we were hoping that perhaps coming to another high-ranking member of the town, we would be able to beseech you for some help in stopping one, the crime and the, the danger that approaches us tomorrow when the moons cross, and two, from the underhanded tactics of a corporation hoping to stamp out religion and for the sake of money. Uh, this nods as he's listening and he then kind of does like a... Yes, I'm... A... From... Lionel, can you give him a paper? Is it forbidden to I'll write? Ha I'll hand on my notepad and uh, my pen or pencil, whatever I have. I'm yeah. really glad I'm not there. <laughs> we would not be able to communicate. Um, I suppose... I, I don't know if you recognize him, a fledgling member of the Order of the Knights Radiant in the Church of Sahanin. So, firstly, I'm, do you have any information on what happened to my brothers and sisters of the cloth? What happened to them? Why, why has the church been turned into a, a festival for selling trinkets? Um, this worked better one question at a time. Um, but as you ask the first one, he, he, does, he just writes just, the word map. This one about... Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. yeah. That's where they go, where they went. About. Yeah, yeah, What happened? He writes the word mountain and then kind of draws a short little mountain and then an arrow up. North? A mountain to the north. And he, like, not, not not necessarily north, but you can tell he's, like, gesturing. like just Tallest high. peak. Mm. You'll find me on the tallest peak on the darkest day. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you believe that they are alright? And you can see he takes a moment to hesitate, but just before he writes and then just puts a question mark. I understand. Were they violently forced out? Um, Shakes has said no, and then Draw, like takes a second and then just kind of scribbles and then draws a like pretty vivid um, werewolf creature. Were they searching for that? I see. And they thought it was on the mountain, and they left the church unprotected? <clears throat> Do you th believe that the Archdruid is helping the town? He takes a second. And then you can you can see there's like a conflict of like of some sort some sort of internal conflict, and then he kind of nods in agreement. Are you concerned that the Nerazine Corporation is influencing him? He nods with a little more confidence. Is the position of this temple for or against the corporation's actions? Um, he just kind of like gestures up 
as like uh, almost communicating that this temple to him is is very sacred, and it's like if this temple, this temple is basically on their on their little um, like pilgrimage up. It's the first like campsite um, of like I don't know if you guys ever watched the show Everest, where there's like the campsites up the mountain where mm-hmm. this is like the one where everyone gathers their gear, gets inspired. There's the big pep talks. Nobody's encountered any danger yet. Then they go up the mountain where there are other stops, but it gets more dangerous, and more dangerous as people drop off, and only a few people summit. So this place is, you can tell that it's very sacred to me. Does your temple have any plans to stand up to the Nerazine Corporation? This question, both of you make, in, what's your passive insight? I think it's pretty high, both of you. Mine's not Pem, too. Pem, you're here too. I know you're okay. wisdom. Mine's pretty average. Mine's a 14. 15. That's decent for level 3. Um, okay. Um, you guys pick up that this was the this is one question where he's almost you can feel him get defensive with and he mm. like he kind of like like he's on like unsure and he almost doesn't answer. We saw a member a high ranking member of another Nightly order. May we speak to them? I believe our paths and our desires may intertwine. And with saying those words, you kind of can see his already gaunt and pale face almost turn ghostly as he then like takes a step back from you and goes like and gives you in like Gives you like a time for you guys to go. I don't think I would resist. Like if we're being ushered out. Well, just know that the Church of Sahanin bears no ill will to the temple for the silent monks. And if they were in need, we would help. I intend to help. I only hope that if the time comes where we must stand up for one another, that you all, and I kind of gesture to the church in general, or the temple, would be willing to make that stand with us. Uh, Make a persuasion check. Okay. Persuasion for 16. You can see that his paleness kind of um, fade, but he's still, he's still bothered by the last sentence you just said, and he just gives you a, like looks at you with a like a brisk eye contact and gives you gives you a quick nod, and then, like, and then goes like, but "You must." Like... Pem, as we're outside and we've exited, and we're alone. Pem, which door was it you saw? The night go through. I'll uh, point like over here. It was this door. This is where I saw him. He came out in the back of the crowd and went over here. I don't know how to like direct him to it, but I would yeah, assume yeah, yeah. I could like. Yeah, you could point it out. Yeah, point it out. Yeah. Like he went in there, and I don't think anyone followed. I feel that our time is growing short, and decisions must be made with haste. But I don't know if this is the correct one. What is the decision? What we do. Something will happen during the glow. Something to throw off the balance. We know from the images we saw that the twisting fates will pull apart and upset some kind of balance. And all that the people who want to help will be able to do is watch down as everything turns to chaos for the evening. So potentially many could die or be injured. 
but I'll be honest, I don't know what the corporation would have to do with that at all, or what they would gain from it. I don't know if they're involved, or if this is a personal vendetta to avenge the church being sacked. I don't know the answer to any of these questions. <laughs> but I know that there's a potential answer behind this door for the corporation, and it may run us out of time to help anything for the glow. Shall we investigate? Well, I suppose we're here. He may be going by tomorrow. So I guess we'll approach the door and... I'm gonna, like, reach my hand up to knock on it, but you can tell that I'm not real confident about what's about to happen. Okay. And then I'll but you do knock. Linger for a second, and then knock. <clears throat> okay. As you knock on the door, we'll cut over to our other group, and I realize my chair hydraulics have uh, sunk down a bit. as <laughs> They're definitely not working as they used to. <laughs> My chair does it every two seconds. Yeah. It's like over time, so I don't notice it going down, but then I'll be like, why the fuck am I so short? <laughs> Cutter. <laughs> Damn. Got that lazy <laughs> boy. He got that low rider. I got her back. <sighs> so as we go towards the others. Yeah. Shift as you guys are... The red band opens up as to this descent of a stone staircase. It's completely pitch black, only lit by a few sconces on the way down, alternating left and right every maybe 10, 15 feet as this goes down probably 100 feet. Um, from the reflections of the light, um, you guys can make perception checks here, both of you. Mercs, have you ever given a private performance in a place as cool as this? Oh, I can't say I've ever been down here. Damn right. It should really it's up the... Natural 20 on the perception. Also, Good. insight check on Mercs' response to uh, Hagen Das's question. Serge's question. Okay, uh... What's the insight? Insight. Insight. I rolled a 12 on perception, so. I rolled a 2 on the insight, so a 20 on the perception. Um, I'm walking, Loris is in front guiding you guys down, um, and then probably Mercs is in the, in the very back, but then one of you two. Whoever's in front of you, you can see the shadows of the sconces. Um, or, sorry, the lights creating shadows. In frail and almost seem to. We're having with your twenty activity problems. Yeah, I think it's us. Yeah. I mean, um, it, I think we're a bandwidth like super drop. I lost connection in Tailspire, and you guys are coming through broken. Yeah. Um, or we're saying that good. chat too. Okay. I mean, it's definitely us. I think it's to do with our side, but. God damn can hurry. It sounds a little bit better now, so I think you can just pick back up. As to not miss too okay. much dialogue. Yeah, so as you notice with your natural 20 going down, you notice the shadows that people that are being cast from the light of the sconces of, of the individuals, they're abnormally gaunt and at sometimes almost seem to move and kind of lurk a little more than the natural shadow. And with your 20, you know that um, the light would be casting a bigger shadow from here. Like, with the how where the light is and how close the person is to the light 
it would cast like almost it would almost engulf the entire wall but here it's like these sh almost like creepy eerie figures that you guys are casting along the walls here I'm gonna but, point I'm gonna poke surge after I know this I'm just gonna poke him what is his reaction I just poke you like hey uh, hey. I point at the shadows and I go to touch one. Is, there, is it a wall? Is it a shadow? Yeah, like, how does. How, so, since the shadows look weirdly small and distorted, like what was... happens as I go to touch the shadow? Like, how, how does. What's the interaction like? Almost like the more attention you pay to the shadow, the more it becomes normal. So like the more you like look towards it and acknowledge it, it's like, no, that is just a shadow. But then in the corner of your eye, they look to move and they look to like almost like creep and uh, it's nothing to worry about, Sphinx. I'm sure it's just some magical effects for lighting for stage and you know performance and things like that don't worry about it on the next torch we come by i want to put my hand through the fire not like who is it hot no but like run my fingers through it like you would like this i'll show okay. you just like um it is it's it's a, is torch. It real I do fire? It too. Is, it is, is real, real fire. fire yeah it is okay all right, I'll just keep going. I'm not gonna say a whole lot because I don't right. want to kill um, this guy. Loris comes down and gives a couple. Like you see, after you've walked down for, um, I mean, the temperature has changed, so you guys know you're underground. Um, here it's a little cooler and chillier, and at the bottom there's a like a steel door with a little. The only thing with it is like a little hatch and Loris just comes up and goes doof, doof, doof. um yes mister I've already made arrangements with uh mister Hammerwand and just like the little oh yep yeah, it's you all oh, right and then it opens up and as the door opens it's illuminated in like this great light as you can hear the sounds of uh, a full tavern kind of take part here. And what you guys can see is like this cobblestone basement that has two layers where there's almost like a, the first layer that you guys are on, this upper layer, has around it like a wooden sculpture with rooms and there's this huge bonfire and then looking over you guys kind of look over in the fighting pit way and looking down you see just gambling tables and um just tables of people playing cards and dice there's like a bunch of people down here um it's uh, it's hip it's hopping there's probably 80 ish people down here in the entire place uh search i don't think we should ever bring pimp down here ever not ever uh, a couple things well, you guys know. noticed, though, specifically. <laughs> you guys <laughs> win it back. Well, I'm... across from you guys, like hold, hold up. Three. Oh, keep. We're back. Keep yeah, we're back. Okay. Yeah, we're back. Okay. In this upper level, you see um, a big fire and like tables. There's a gate where there are are two red bands. Um, guarding here, um, be overseeing the pit from here. But also behind, you see tables and tables of food, like more food than any one person could eat. But at the head of this is a large throne of a large, like corpulent. What you guys understand to be a dwarf, but he is um, like uh, large size, so kind of like sitting, just like. Eating like basically fat bastard from Austin Powers. <laughs> yeah, but in my belly. But his skin is I almost like 
the fat is almost falling off of his bones as he looks decrepit, but also at the same time extremely overweight and corpulent creature. As his eyes are sunken in, and he's just like, oh, just smashing food, and he's like, bleh, bleh, bleh. and from here, that's all you can see. But uh, as you guys are ushered downstairs, where there's gambling and and stuff, and you can hear people being like, um, just kind of yelling. There's there's a bunch of vibrant figures at each table, and you guys see as you come down, there's now like a check in for like a gambling guy um a red band is here and looks at you guys and goes okay you can see he looks at the wall and there's almost like names and pictures of like almost harry potter style of people like faces moving and stuff you see pem in one of them (laughs) and i do the same thing i I poke sir as he's like cross-referencing he goes they're good. And you so you see Pem as one, you see multiple other figures. And then you see uh the one eyed raven on there as well. So he goes, Alright, they're good. And as you guys pass through, he's like, Don't lose too much money. And he kinda like hits the gate as you guys pass through and Loris is like, One or two songs, Serge. That's all you've got. We don't have much time down here, and honestly this place creeps. And uh, Merck's just like, yeah, Serge, we'll see how you do with him. All right. Until like this. Honestly, your music will probably do well down here. And then he starts to whisper because he kind of like trails off as he like looks around. And the guy's like, the guy like doing the gate and looks at him like, I'm about to talk shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm fine, just, no, no, never mind. <laughs> so, uh, Loris points you to the stage. Mm hmm. All right, I get up, I stand up on stage. Is there a, do they, I mean, I know there's not electricity, but is there like a microphone? Like what is this, the setting on stage? What does it look like? Um, it's, it's just currently the there's, there's no music in the tavern going on. There is a small stage um, that looks to be kind of wedged between the bar and all these gambling tables. And everybody. Come on, can I have your attention, please? Hey! I said quiet! Like a couple people at the tables keep gambling, but they're like, look back like... Might I introduce the mighty Surge? <laughs> Take it away! Uh, Floppy. Thank you, Sphinx. Hello, patrons. Hope you're having a nice night. You're winning, you're drinking, I hope you're having a good time. Uh, I have a couple songs I'd like to play for you. This first one is about... Uh, oh, how do I describe it? Ah, fuck it. You can interpret it as you wish, and I'll just jump into a song. All right, as, you, uh, as you're like I, introducing the song, you can tell that everyone has like looked over and then like is back to gambling and just, just totally like giving you, paying you no mind. Mm-hmm. I call this one... Rats in a cage. And I just start plucking and playing on the sound. And I'm trying to maybe like... Oh, get careful, don't get us stricken. Yeah. 10 seconds. And, and I... <laughs> and I'm trying to see if maybe it'll catch the attention of the people in the red hoods. You know? Make make a performance check. Mm-hmm. Oh, can I guide myself before that? No, that's a... Never mind. No, you can, you can, but I don't know if you can. If I can, then I do will. You have guidance. Uh oh, I have one left. Um, guidance is not inspire. Just so you know. Oh, it's not. Oh, what am would, I thinking of? Would I have yeah, I was thinking of inspire. Like, Maybe I can't guide. Never mind. No, I was give thinking of inspiration. To yourself. You can. Yeah, guide no, that's yourself. that's right. That's why I was thinking. I confused it with guidance, but I meant yeah. So uh, I wasn't, all right. I wasn't able to like guidance. Game Master Frenzy the crowd at all announcing him? Um, Who is? Oh, yeah. Well, Sving, just from down here, you can tell that almost like your antics upstairs would have made more sense down here. So, like, you yelling and being like, everybody, like, people were just like, yeah, whatever. We're like, we're getting, like, we've got other things to attend to. It's almost like, oh, 
oh, I don't feel as weird down here. Like they, oh. they didn't look at you anyway. Like just yelling something is not like didn't hey, like they didn't care at all. All right. Okay, different vibes. Different vibes. Yeah, the vibe from Big upstairs was vibe. like tame, like it was chill. Down here, it's almost like uh, you should picture chaotic underground <laughs> gambling <laughs> ring. Just Am I might beat up uh, a wave again. We'll see. Just <laughs> throw Mercs. him to the ground. Uh, fifteen on performance. Happens. Fifteen, as you uh play uh your song "Rat in a Cage." It's going and uh, you're turning a couple heads, but like, just like, they're just like, and it's going, it's going, and at one point, Merckx just goes, like, it ends, and like, nobody's really like, clapping, but Merckx is just like, Wait. wonderful yeah, um... <laughs> rat in a cage, play a classic or something, ridiculous. Nobody understands any of this. All right. Uh, Loris kind of like, as you're like, oh, okay. Um, Loris kind of comes up and goes, um, you might need to be a little more boisterous or brash or loud down here. Uh, these people, they see, I, they see a Something lot of Something that gets things. the people moving, yeah? Maybe. Yeah, of course. I mean, and it wasn't Please music. I'm uh, yeah. maybe a little more. I don't know. Some... The music that they'll listen to down here is going to be different than anything else. So maybe I'm not trying to give notes. I'm just... Read the mm-hmm. room. I read the room. Okay. <laughs> what? Um. I don't know. If I make a quick investigation check, would I be able to tell what kind of music a place like this would? Insight, uh, insight check. Or, yeah. These people are dying for a mosh pit. I I have an idea. You're not wrong. These people cannot fucking wait. Make oh it seven. Seven. It's hard to discern 